Historic, downtown Asheville, North Carolina, echomountain.net. Videography is provided by imavl.com, your independent arts and music destination on the World Wide Web. This evening's guest, Erica Jane and Red Honey. Welcome. Thanks, Laura. Thanks what are you guys going to start us off with tonight? We are going to start you off with a song called One, Two, Three. been listening to the music of Red Honey recorded at Echo Mountain Recording Studio fronted by Erica Jane of Remember the Bees but this is a far cry from what you've referenced as a uh, heroin music it's true yeah yeah can you tell me everyone who's <laughs> in the band with you this evening well I'd be glad to this is Jacob Waller on the lead guitar, guitar and we have Jared Perkins tearing up the drums back there and Mr. John Paul Hess on the bass and the s s synthesized pedal modified machine that he made you know he'll play that in a little bit so all right well we can't wait to hear it so you guys had um a bit of a stretch of, ru of rough luck recently with your most recent album forthcoming cd uh, and I, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that whole thing well, Laura, you know, I want to stay positive, but we uh, had some money set aside for our upcoming album, Red Honey and the Pleasure Chest, and we've recorded most of it ourselves. We're, you know, we're close to finishing the recording process, but uh, the money was for production and mastering and those sorts of things, and it was stolen out of my car. Sad Sorry day. It was a bad day. Yes. <laughs> but we are kicking off a Kickstarter 
campaign. We've had so much great support from the community, from people like Blake Butler and Jill Lieberman. They're heading it up. And just so many people have been amazing and wanted to support it. So, Have you ever worked with Kickstarter before? or No, I've always been nervous, too, I guess. Uh, for what reason? Um, I'm not... I'm not good at like going and soliciting money from other people like, hey, give me money. But I feel like this is kind of one of those situations where we, we, we need support from the community. And and I think that um, I, it just feels right. Well, that definitely resonates. I mean, you know, that's a good way to take a situation like that and turn it into a silver lining. It seems like that album title has done some different manifestations, too. Um, it started off, it was going to be the Velvet Stingers, uh, and now it's, it, it, is this the same record we're talking about? Did you do something different? Well, you know, Laura, we have like 14 or 15 songs recorded. It's, it's, sometimes the music just kind of flows out of you, and that's kind of what happened. I mean, we have even more songs that we haven't even started recording, so I'm not sure how it'll all turn out, like if w we need to release two albums, or if it's going to be a really long one, or... It's hard to know, but we're focusing on the pleasure chest right now, and that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, better to have too much than too little. It's true. So we are talking today with Erica Jane and the newest incarnation, Red Honey. You've got, you guys have some shows coming up. I want to mention Saturday, March 9th at Snug Harbor in Charlotte, North Carolina at 9 p.m. Thursday, April 4th will be the local kickoff for your Kickstarter campaign, and that's going to be at the Lexington Avenue Brewery. You guys have another show coming up in the pretty immediate future. When is this? Oh, at the Westville Pub on Thursday, February 21st. All right. And that starts at 9, too. Can we get to another two? Absolutely. Pup! your tongue. You sell the used car of Jack and Pam Love and I'm not buying. Hey,
You're listening to the music of Red Honey, recorded live at Echo Mountain Recording Studio, courtesy of imavl.com for WNCW's Local Color. Erica Jane, are you from the South originally? No, I'm originally, originally from Wisconsin. Do you get any sort of commentary or feedback about your vocal stylings or, or phrasing that do people tell you that they mistake you as someone from the South? I'm just curious. It, it seems like... N- uh, people don't... I don't know if they've ever s- spoken to me specifically about that. What are your thoughts, Laura Blackley? Well, I, I guess <laughs> now the tables are turned. But, but yeah, it just seems like that vernacular is in there. And maybe it goes back to what your music influences are. Um, if it's... Did, did you listen to Southern Records growing up? Was that yeah, something that dad, was... Yeah, my dad. Definitely. Like the Oak Ridge Boys and Creedence Clearwater Revival and, you know, the Beatles and that sort of thing, too. There's a lot of, so many influences. Did you just call the Beatles Southern Rock? <laughs> no, no, no. The Beatles are not Southern <laughs> Rock. But just reminiscing, I guess, my mind wandered away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just an interesting thing to ponder. Um, you guys are coming up. You've, you've got a pleasure chest coming out. Uh, looks like June of 2013. Is, is that going to be the official date or... Well, you know, Laura, at this point, the word official, I'm, a wor- I'm nervous to use that word, but we'll say that's, a, that's, that's our target. So, um, As far as how it is now, I know you guys were, were planning on using the Kickstarter funds to, to do some mix-in master and that sort of thing. Any plans to do any additional tracking? I know you mentioned you had a bunch of songs kind of in the can. Um, yeah, you know, we've we've invited some friends into the studio to record, and maybe it's given us a moment to, like, kind of breathe on it and sit on some songs and say, what, what do we want to add here? What would be more fun to add there? So I'm really excited. It's I'm really excited about it. Nice. <laughs> we talked a little bit, too, touched on earlier that um, you had referred to Remember the Bees, your former band, as, as heroin music, and this being quite a different entity. Can you tell me a little bit about what led you in this direction to put together Red Honey and, and the bee theme that's kind of concurrent throughout the whole thing? <laughs> well, I love bees. I think that they are so fascinating and the, the sense of community that they have and the way they build the the honeycomb, it's all just so fascinating and they all work together. You know, they look out for the queen, but it's they all work for the hive. And I think that that's always been amazing and fascinating. In terms of Remember the Bees, I think that I, f- I felt like I was getting out some, s- maybe some things that I had buried deep in there that I felt heavy and dark, and, and at some point, I just wanted to let them go, so, so I did, <laughs> and now we just want to play rock and roll and have fun, you know? Yeah, definitely. It seems like it swept out something to, to make the way to put this project together, too. Yeah. We're talking today with Erica Jane and her band Red Honey. They've got several local shows coming up, the first of which this Thursday, February 21st at the Westville Pub. They're also playing in Snug Harbor, a rock and roll club in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's on Saturday, March 9th. And they will be officially kicking off their Kickstarter campaign on Thursday, April the 4th at the Lexington Avenue Brewery. Can we get to another tune? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this This one is called Blackbird.
take off from the east, all from the east, take off from the east, blackbird, blackbird, take off from the east, land on your feet from the south. You've been listening to music recorded live from Asheville's Red Honey here at Echo Mountain Recording Studio, courtesy of IMAVL.com. So those last three tunes, they, they were yours, right? Yes. Um, how, how does the band approach that? It seems like all the guys kind of have a hand in arranging as well, just doing some clever different things. Do you, do you bring the song to them and, and let them kind of run it through their own red honey mill or or how does that work yeah it runs through the red honey mill (laughs) (laughs) um you know some songs they come and it's like this is how this song is gonna go and other songs they come and it's like i i uh record it like rough versions of it and then bring it to the table and we work it out together and sometimes we're like it needs a another chorus here but then this one has felt really collaborative and we all talk about how you know how to give each moment it's due and and um i think jared's jared who is our drummer bringing him into the band has been just really amazing uh, i think that he, he's aided our communication and and uh brought us all together to really go on the same wavelength it's been awesome <laughs> <laughs> he's blushing back there it, it also so should be noted that you guys kind of happened upon, and now that it's actually out in the open, you guys doing the Pulp Fiction stuff, this, this kind of seems like the perfect band vehicle for that. Um, how, how did that get started? Uh, we had talked about how we wanted to do, one of our goals is to do a soundtrack a year. So this year we were like, we're going to do Pulp Fiction. And it, because it's, so, you know, some of our favorite songs and greatest influences is all that fun surf rock and so it's a whole lot of fun and a great movie I mean it's we all love it we all remember it and remember like going to see it for the first time and um so it's been fun (laughs) do you find yourself approaching the act of song interpreting different than arranging and and writing your own stuff um yeah definitely it's more knock it out in a way like he there's less open to communicate I was less open to to uh interpretation interpretation and yeah you just Mm -hmm. stick to it and um it's it's been a lot of fun we you know we do things a little different but with some of it you need to just make sure that you're being true to the artist that wrote it so absolutely we're talking today with Red Honey featuring Erica Jane on lead vocals and guitar they've got several shows coming up Thursday February 21st at Westville Pub also March 9th at Charlotte's Snug Harbor and the official Kickstarter campaign kickoff and that's going to be at the Lexington Avenue Brewery on April the 4th can we get to one last tune it's our pleasure Laura thanks for having us so cold Why do you have to have control In the darkest part of night Oh, do you crave the morning light When did you become so cold oh what do you have to have control did she take you break you make you
You've been listening to the music of Red Honey, recorded at Echo Mountain Recording Studio, courtesy of IMAVL.com. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for having us, Laura.